So it's sorry for the shakiness, but I'm pushing George. It's um, Thursday, and we're going to the park. No, not that one. This way. Not going to the better one than that. George is in his buggy. Matthew's walking. They both got hats on because of the sun, and we're walking to the park. Oh, sorry for the bumpiness, but I'm trying to push him one-handed. So we're going to walk then, have a bit of park time, and we'll see how they get on. And there's George in his stroller. So we'll catch up in a minute. So we're about halfway. We're going to go under the tunnel. We're going to go under that tunnel. Yeah. Under there. Yeah. We're about halfway, and George just took his hat off. Daddy, so we're about halfway. Go, Ready to go? Yeah, yeah. Come then. Whoa. Echo. Echo. Is it better in here? It's a bit cooler. It's a bit cooler. There's lots of trees here. The trees are back. Keep the sun off your head. That's it. Well done. We're nearly there, Math. Yeah, we're Still got your hat on? Yeah. Keep away from that road. <laughs> Go. Well done. Follow George again. George. George, ready? Careful. Yay! Well done. You did it. Go. Bring him back up. Yeah. 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 You want to do him? Come on. All right. Might put McQueen first. Come on. Then. There he goes. Now you have to get him. Go. So that's the park done. We lasted about an hour and a half. Can you say hello? No, you can say hello. Did you have a nice time at the park? No. Oh, he did. It's just that I think he doesn't want to walk back because I think he needs to go to the toilet. Don't you? So we're going to walk back now, which is I think it's about, it's about a mile. I'll check it later and see what it is when we get back. No, we don't need we don't need the shot. We're gonna go down the tunnel. That's good walking. Well done. This is the walk of when he needs a number two. And he doesn't really want to go when he gets home, but he knows it's inevitable. Isn't it, Matt? Yeah. Hello, George. Hi. <coughs> did you go to the park? A park! You did go to the park. Park! What's wrong with you, Matt? I want to go home. You want to go home? I just want to cross my legs and 
tunnel. I, I think you need to go for a wee, don't you? I don't. Okay. We go home, George? Get a drink? Go home. Go get a drink? Yeek. Well done. Go on then. You know what kids are like. They look an echo. It is actually yeah. quite a nice day today. Yeah. I don't know how you can see. But it's pretty nice. Yeah. I know to anyone that's not in England, they'll probably think, well, that's just a normal day, but over here, that's pretty good. It's hot yeah. enough for us anyway. So. We end the vlog as we started. Sorry, I'm just trying to balance it so I can keep my arm and George at the same time. Leave that snail alone, yucky. Yucky. If you can see those little three hedges, they were lovely and round and nice and bushy until Amy got her hands on my hedge trimmer and destroyed them. So, I just wanted to, it, not much, not like a very long vlog, just a bit of us going to the park during half time, but wanted to talk about nappies or diapers or continents or whatever else you guys call it, wherever you are. Nice t-shirt, George. But George likes a bit of outside play. We've had dinner. And he, he likes banging, as you can hear. Um, yeah, so they are five, they were five in March. Matthew is toilet trained during the day. Um, in, pretty much until he goes to bed, he wears a pull up when he's in bed. Um, same size as George. Um, we're persevering with that at the moment because Matthew has issues about going to the toilet for number twos. Um, and a lot of the time when he's been holding it, for a week or sometimes five days or sometimes longer um, because he doesn't like going for a number two sometimes the best way is for him to have a nappy on because he'll go and hide and do it rather than sitting on the toilet for half an hour 40 minutes and him going through all the agony and the meltdown of going so that's why Matthew has them at night not because we don't think he can go through the night of weeing but it's just for his own comfort really more than anything George is nowhere even remotely near needing to go. Last week was the first time in about a year and a half since we tried them on the potty when they were like three before we really knew they were autistic. We knew something was wrong, but we didn't know they were autistic. And Matthew, uh, George, sorry, the wee on the toilet last week when I sat him on it, which I do every time he has a bath, and he did a little wee in the toilet. Obviously me and Matthew were watching him because we were waiting for the bath to run, and we made a massive big deal of it. Matthew was clapping and which was really good so George was saying well done well done so I think he understands that it's meant to go in there but he's not in a position yet where he can go I need to go and then come and tell us he needs to go and or take us to the toilet he doesn't get that yet we've got pecs folder for it we've got pecs signs for it we've got toilet signs on the toilet about the process of going to the toilet wiping yourself washing your hands pulling the flush he's just not ready for it yet so when people keep on asking me all the time, and I don't know why it's a common question, but one of the main questions that I get asked all the time is are they in diapers, are they in nappies, depending on where you are in the world, I know you call them different things, but George is in them all day. Um, when that's going to change, I don't know. In England, they can only refer them to continents when they're five. So when on his last meeting the other week, they've referred him now, or they're going to refer him through the school nurse to the continents team which will be an appointment at the hospital and they'll obviously find out all his issues what his, his autism and stuff like that and then they'll probably give us some hints and tips on how to start weaning him off the nappies during the day I presume the same as we did with Matthew but with Matthew it was kind of more self-sufficient he was watching me go for a wee and following my, we can't even go to the toilet without him following us as anyone with kids know so Matthew just took to it himself and started copying George sees us go sees Matthew go every time Matthew goes in there George follows him in there um, so it's going to come it's just we're not battering ourselves with it because he'll go he'll start doing it when he's ready so hopefully that answers a few people's questions because they always ask 
they're in normal pull-ups. George will come to us when he's wet and say nappy. So there's already that understanding starting to come here that I'm wet, I need to be changed. So I suppose that's the first step. Now we'll look at keep putting him on the toilet every time he goes for a bath and hope that he'll consistently go for a wee before he gets in the bath, things like that. Maybe first thing in the morning, put him on the toilet see if he'll wee then, because that's the way you would normally do it as far as I'm aware. These are our first kids, so, and our, probably our last kids, um, but that's probably the easiest route to start and going for a wee. I suppose once he starts doing that consistently, then we would start taking him nappy off or putting pants underneath and all these sorts of special um, bubbles that are more on the toilet, etc. But they're probably going to refer to the continent team anyway, so hopefully they'll be able to assist with that. And we'll just see how we go. I don't know how... I know it's common for autistic kids to not be toilet trained at a standard age. I don't know what standard age would be. Three, four, I don't know. So they're totally dry and clean for the night and stuff. Once once George's understanding gets better, I'm pretty sure he would... I think he's capable of doing it, but his understanding in general for just general understanding isn't there yet. So, yeah, so that answers the question that I keep getting asked all the time. It's not a problem for people to ask it, but then it just means if I put it in this video, I can refer back to it. But anyway, that's it for today. I'm going to cancel the vlog now and let George have another 10 minutes out here and then go in and bath up. You right? Oh, no, my... Oh, you hurt your foot? Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? As you can see, he's just quite happy out here, wandering around. He won't wear shoes out here, which is why he's saying now, because he's still on a little stone, I think. But anyway, that's it for today's vlog. If you enjoyed today's vlog, give us a thumbs up, like the channel, subscribe to the channel so that you get every... Uh, put your notifications bell on, I think, and then it will notificate give you a notification on your phone or whatever tablet when a new video uploads and we'll catch you all again soon